वी आर लुकिंग एट चैप्टर नंबर थ्री कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल डिजाइन सो द कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट असेंबली और संविधान सभा वॉज मेड इन जुलाई नाइनटीन फोर्टी सिक्स देर वॉज इलेक्शन हेल्ड फॉर मेकिंग और कॉन्स्टिट्यूटिंग द कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट असेंबली द ड्राफ्टिंग ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन वॉज डन बाय दिस कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट असेंबली ओनली हु वॉज द चेयरमैन ऑफ दिस कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट असेंबली डॉक्टर राजेंद्र प्रसाद साहब द फर्स्ट मीटिंग ऑफ दिस असेंबली वॉज हेल्ड इन डिसंबर नाइनटीन फोर्टी सिक्स बट आफ्टर दैट द कंट्री गॉड डिवाइडेड इन टू इंडिया एंड पाकिस्तान द कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट असेंबली ऑल्सो गॉड डिवाइडेड द असेंबली अडॉप्टेड द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन on 26th november 1949 but there is a difference please understand the assembly adopted the constitution uh, constitution on 26th november 1949 but it came to effect on 26 january 1950 so this 26 january 1950 it was the day when it came into effect and that is why we celebrate january 26 every year on the रिपब्लिक डे ओकेजन दैट इज द रिपब्लिक डे गणतंत्र दिवस द रिपब्लिक डे वी सेलिब्रेट द कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट असेंबली वर्क इन सिस्टमेटिक ओपन एंड कंसेंशुअल मैनर दैट इज एवरी थॉट वॉज इन्वॉल्व एंड एवरी मेंबर ऑफ द कमिटी द गेव दियर आइडिया and they were open for various other ideas also so this is how constituent uh, assembly worked first of all what are the basic principles they were decided and they were agreed upon then a drafting committee which was chaired by the great dr b r ambedkar it prepared the drafting constitution for discussion now the draft or prarup or khaka or blueprint is ready after that when it came to discussion more than 2000 2000 amendments or changes were considered so as i said that 26th november 1949 it was adopted but 26th january 1950 it came into effect which is our republic day also january 26 and how many members were involved 299 members were there in this constituent assembly and then we talked about the drafting committee which was chaired by dr b r ambedkar it they prepared a draft situation of constitution and also there were discussion of several rounds and this was the draft constitution and discussion was taken and after this discussion 2000 amendments or changes were done so 114 days it took for 3 years the committee met 114 days in 3 year and every document presented and every word being spoken in between this discussion was recorded properly and this recording is known as constituent assembly debates it is available these debates all are available in a printed format as 12 bulky volumes so what are the guiding values of indian constitution you might have uh, you know you might have thought that this constitution would involve gandhi ji great mahatma gandhi ji but uh, mahatma gandhi ji was not involved in making of this constitution but he has those ideas and they were being discussed by mahatma gandhi ji and dr b r ambedkar so the philosophy of uh, the constitution is the constitution begins with a very short statement of its basic value which is called as the preamble to the constitution which is also in hindi it is called as the uddeshika or prastavana preamble of the constitution so the preamble is like the gist or 
you know, summary of what is inside. So, the preamble focuses on the justice. So, what are the justice? Social, economic and political justice. Then, the freedom or the liberty of thoughts, expression, belief, faith and worship. And the equality, equality of status, equality of opportunity and also uh, fraternity assuring the dignity of individual and the unity and integration of the nation. So, here are some of the ideas being given by the great people like Jawaharlal Nehru said that, but I will read uh, the idea of constitution what Gandhiji has in his mind. So, Gandhiji said that I shall strive for a constitution which will release Indian or India from all uh, thraldom and patronage. I shall work for India in which the poorest shall feel that he is also doing something for the country or he is a part of making a country. And India, the way, where there is no high class, no low, low class or no class distinction. And India which inhales all the communities with perfect harmony. And for untouchability, intoxication, drugs, there should be no place. Women and men should be equal. They in, women should enjoy all the rights as men. And Gandhiji finally said, I shall not be satisfied with nothing else than these. So then the philosophy of the constitution, which is actually the preamble. So the constitution begins with a very short statement, as I just suggested, of the basic values what the constitution of India contains. And this is known as the preamble of the constitution. So this is the preamble of the constitution. As I said, preamble is the gist or summary of the Indian constitution. So, here are certain words being highlighted. This preamble is the soul of Indian constitution. So, it starts like this, we the people of India. So, what does it mean when we say we the people of India? This means the constitution has been drawn up and enacted by the people through their representative and not handed down to them by any king or any outside power. So, this is all done by the people and their rep representatives. Then we the people of India having solemnly resolved to constitute India into a sovereign. What is this sovereign? That is people have supreme right to make decision on internal as well as external matter. No external power can dictate the government of India. Then socialist, the socialist means wealth is generated socially and should be shared equally by everyone that is all society. Government should regulate the ownership of land industry to reduce the socio-economic inequalities, inequalities which are prevailing. Then comes the secular. This is very important part. The citizens have complete freedom to follow any religion, Hindu, Muslim, Sikh, Sai, any religion. But there is no official religion as a state of India. Government treats all religious beliefs and practices with equal respect. Then comes the democratic republic. So, democratic republic, democratic means the form of government where people enjoy equal political rights, elect their rulers and hold them accountable also. That is the rulers are answerable to the, to the citizens. The government is running according to some basic rules. And to secure to all its citizens justice. Justice is citizens should be uh, or cannot be discriminated on the grounds of caste, creed, religion, gender, social inequalities have to be reduced and government should work for the welfare of all especially for the disadvantaged or marginalized sector or, or groups. Here is one more word which we just talked about is the republic. So, republic comes here like this that the head of the state is an elected person, he is not a hereditary person, he is an elected person by the the citizen of the country, by the people of this country. Then comes the liberty, liberty, social, economical and political. So, liberty, there are no unreasonable restrictions on the citizen in what they, way 
or whatever they way they think and how they wish to express their thoughts and the way they wish to follow up their thoughts in action so liberty is this one of thought expression belief faith and worship then the equality equality of status and opportunity and to promote among them all so equality is all are equal before the law before the government the traditional social inequalities have to be ended the government should ensure equal opportunities for all now comes the fraternity fraternity assuring the dignity of the individual and the unity and integrity of nation this fraternity says all of us should behave as if we are members of the same family so india is a fam it is a country but not a but it should be considered as a family so no one should treat a fellow citizen in any case as inferior now the last thing says in our constituent assembly this uh, 26th day of november 1949 do hereby adopt enact and give to ourselves this constitution this is the preamble or soul or gist or summary of our constitution so when the constitution can is made or when it was being created the options or there were provisions of changes also so the provisions to incorporate changes from time to time in this constitution so these changes are called constitutional amendments the indian constitution as we already discussed lays down a procedure for choosing person to govern the country who is going to govern the country what are the ways what are the rules to be followed procedure it defines who will have how much power who is going to take what decision and it puts limits to what the government can do by providing some rights to the citizen that cannot be violated so we discussed about various uh, things in this discussion apartheid we started the official policy of racial separation and ill treatment of blacks followed by the government of south africa between 1948 and 1989 a clause is a distinct very distinct section of a document constituent assembly an assembly of people representative that writes a constitution for a country so what is a constitution supreme law of country containing fundamental rules governing the polit politics and society in a country constitutional amendment that is the change or alteration in the constitution made by the supreme legislative body in a country then the draft what is a draft this is a preliminary version of legal document then philosophy the most fundamental principles underlying one's thought and actions preamble the introductory statement in a constitution which states reason and guiding values of the constitution treason desh drog the offense of attempting to overthrow the government of the state to which the offender owes allegiance trust the meeting or meeting place that have been agreed upon so this is all about this constitutional design thank you so much take care of yourself